Now that our slab preparation is complete, we're ready to start moving forward with our framing and steel. In my opinion, it's the most fun stage because everything happens so quick. We've got a really, really shallow floor system here and we've got lots of steel. I'm gonna show you how we're doing it. These are our existing ugly beams here that actually sit below the ceiling height. We really don't want to see that. We want a flush ceiling connection so you won't even know there's any steel. We've come through and propped pretty much the whole house up. We're going to put our beams up inside the ceiling. We're then going to weld some tabs to take these existing floor beams. That way we can get a nice flush connection and keep moving forward. We've got our welder on site. We've got all our steel on site. We've got every, everything we need. Everything's propped ready to go. We're just going to start putting it together like a Meccano set. I'm going to show you a few little things over here. Because these are so low, we've only got a certain amount of space to work with. The boys have gone through, welded, they're going to tack weld these two plates together. Because we can only use a certain size beam, we've had to weld these on top so we don't stick below the ceiling. We're then going to come through with our brackets. These are going to sit in here, be welded to the side and be able to take our existing floor joists. This way we can go through and strengthen it up and have a flush finish ceiling and you'll never know it was there. Our structural steel in the lounge room area is now complete. I'm just gonna go over and show you these brackets we've done. We've concealed the main beams up in the ceiling here and our joists have run through into these brackets, which has allowed a flush finish ceiling. We'll be able to straighten these old beams with a planer and get the whole ceiling nice, flush and flat. Here's an example of one of our existing beams over here. This one was actually sitting below the ceiling in the original garage. As you can see, it's pretty ugly. It sticks really low. And this is why we've done what we've done over here. In this one here, we actually will, um, we actually got a wall frame that goes in between here. So we can actually frame this one in and not have to do anything with it. But over here, what we had to do was raise them all up so we can get a nice flush finish and you'll never know the beams are there. The reason we decided to spend the money, which was approximately 10K on concealing the beams through the main living area was to allow this whole area here to flow and be flat through the whole way. What we see a lot is we see a lot of um, existing renovations where people leave the beams hanging down and just box them in with plaster. This in my eyes is a big no-no as it looks cheap and looks like we haven't done it properly. So by spending the money here, it costs a lot of money, a lot of work in it, but in the finished product really helps help set the place apart.